Welcome to Burlesque. Hi, I'm Delandis and welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, I love this subject that we're talking about today and it is the art of burlesque. I had to get a little dramatic for you guys today, matching the lipstick with the shirt and the fan. I hope that you guys appreciate it, but I am so excited to talk about the art of burlesque and what burlesque is. What is burlesque to me? Um, burlesque is so many things. If you think about what it started out as and what it's become now, there's really no definition for it. I mean, burlesque, meaning a joke or burly or funny or comedic, it's very different from what it means now. And even in my way of, of moving and doing the burlesque style, it's so different from so many others. And um, I usually call my style of burlesque more modern style. Um, I'm so happy that I was able to go to Europe this summer and go to France and teach in Paris because I am always learning and the school that I went to was very different from my style. There's really no right or wrong answer when it comes to what the style of burlesque is. I, I do think that there are parameters when it comes to burlesque. Um, you can't just put on a heel and just start moving <laughs> any old way and just call it burlesque. Um, I think there's a nice refinement that comes to the style as well. And I try to always live by that very pulled, very elegant, uh, way of moving when it comes to burlesque. And then you have the style that, you know, you have the pasties on with the women and they're turning it and twirling it and, you know, that's really what we think about too when we think of burlesque. Again, I tend to say that I'm a little more modern with um, my style and as a male doing or emulating a woman in the burlesque style, I'm very, very careful to make sure that I am staying true and staying positive to what it really is for us today. Um, uplifting women and being confident and knowing who you are. I tell you, I constantly learn every day because hey, I watch women to learn how to emulate women, right? When I'm teaching the art of burlesque, I tend to refer to my wonderful women who dance with me a lot because I'm not just the only teacher. I always tell my students to, hey, watch Dolores, see what Dolores does. Hey, watch Taylor, see what Taylor does. They may bring something extra or something different from the way I move. So listen, in the art of burlesque, let's kind of go back a little bit and talk about where it came from. So burlesque is under the umbrella of so many things these days, but it did not start out that way. So a couple of different fun facts and trivia about burlesque. So burlesque means to make fun of mockery or joke. It didn't start out with dancers. It was an avenue for comedians to take the stage. Cabaret shows, vaudeville shows. Um, dancers were introduced later. It was said in the 1840s that burlesque skits were to entertain the lower class to middle class, making fun of the opera or the upper class. But not to get too technical on you guys today, I just kind of want to talk about a couple of people or just mention a couple of people who were staples in, in um, the art of burlesque. I think starting out with Lydia Thompson, who was known for or credited as bringing the first burlesque performance to London. Uh, with her group called the British Blondes. Uh, of course, they weren't welcomed. Uh, they didn't open up to great reception and people were pissed, but you know, it was the, the beginning of something very special. Um, of course, she goes on later to take her style to New York and a burlesque was associated with booze and, and all of that stuff in the nightclubs. What you don't really hear is women of color who are very notable in the style of burlesque. Um, and I think one of the most famous, I feel, um, in my opinion, is Josephine Baker. I think we all know her from her famous banana skirt. Uh, but she traveled the world doing the art of burlesque and doing this. But there's not much written about women of color in the style of burlesque in the history books. I want to read this because this is good, okay? So bear with me. The iconic image of Josephine Baker lighting Paris afire in a banana skirt is the first image that comes to mind when we think of the word burlesque. Following La Baker in the 1940s and 50s was an era of stunning nightclub floor shows that featured African-American women who traveled coast to coast and around the world. 
yet the books that claim to detail the history of burlesque say little about women of color and their unique struggles and triumphs. So, <laughs> and then we have Betty Page, who's one of my most favorite pinups. Um, she was also controversial in her time as well. And of course, I can't move on without acknowledging our current reigning diva of burlesque, which is Ms. Dita Von Tees. There's a lot of burlesque history that we just don't know, even I don't know. And I'm guilty of you know, teaching the art of being seductive and teaching burlesque, but also too lacking on some of the knowledge of my history. So my goal is to immerse myself into the art of burlesque and learn more, get more detail. I wanna learn about uh, more burlesque dancers of color uh, because I think that's important for me. Uh, I just don't wanna be that type of teacher that just teach beautiful movement um, of women. But I think the, again, the history is always important. Uh, it's really important that we know that the history didn't start out like with Moulin Rouge. I also again say that my style is a little more modern um, than what it used to be uh, traditionally, but because I'm such a show boy as, or as such a show girl when I'm performing, I really love you know, using the props and using the feathers and going back and being a little more traditional. I think I chose this style because I love doing period work and I love going back and doing dances from way before me being here because I think it's really important to our history. Um, I think that everything that we do as dancers comes from somewhere, you know, hip hop, from the African culture. I mean, a lot of things that you see in hip hop, you see, you know, African dancing in West African, you see that a lot of that movement. I love going back and seeing what what has brought us to where we are now as far as, as this dance and especially the art of burlesque. When I look at styles like hip hop heels, which I really appreciate um, uh, because I think moving in a heel is just beautiful regardless of what you're doing in it because not only is it beautiful, it gets complicated too. So when you see people moving in a stiletto, the way that we move, it's kind of like, wow. Um, but I try to separate what I do from the hip hop heels style. Now, can I do hip hop heels? Absolutely I can. But I, I tend to be a little different um, and I want to portray what I do in my art very different from the way hip hop heels is. Especially when it comes to guys, there are not that many of us that teach this style. Which is kind of cool because you get noticed um, when you teach this style. Um, but again, I appreciate all different styles. A lot of times when I watch these hip hop heels classes or these sexy heels classes, uh, even with my class, a lot of what I do is very similar. Um, but again, I think it's the intention and how you approach it that makes it different. Um, what the end result is, what you're trying to show or showcase, um, I think is different. And the way you execute it, I think is the word. Uh, but they're all very, very similar. Um, when I went to Paris, I was able to see, you know, how people move. And you know, one thing I love about burlesque is it's not all about the complicated movement. In my opinion, I feel that when I do watch a lot of heels classes or just in general videos, it's, it's become about how quick I can move or how I can drop to the floor or how quickly I can drop to the floor or what fancy move I can do to impress people. And I feel that the art of burlesque is just so simple. It can be simple. And like I always express, subtle and just moving the arm is just something very beautiful. And that really registers. Um, not saying that dropping to the floor doesn't or being complicated with your movement is not, but I tend to feel like when people really, at the end of the day, bring it back and want to watch something so beautiful and be captured by a style, it, it's really this style. It's more than just women enjoying your movement. I find that men enjoy my movement a lot because at some point they stop seeing a guy. And that's what I love. You stop seeing a guy. When you're doing burlesque and you're emulating that style, I really want you to see a beautiful woman. And if I'm doing my job right, if I'm in my character, that's what you will see. You want to make someone feel a certain way about the way you're moving. And whether you sit in a chair and you just elongate the arms, 
Any movement is awesome. I love how I can move very subtle in this style and I can accomplish what I really, really am, am looking to do or looking to accomplish. I'll tell you for me what's different. When I do have guys take my classes, they are typically gay. Um, I do have straight men take classes as well, so we don't, we, we accept all, everyone's welcome. But when I do have gay men take my classes, I usually have to pull them to the side and tell them that I want you to approach this differently. Men move differently from women. Gay men move differently from women. So think about what it is, the style of, you're trying to be a woman. When I am performing, one thing that I love my audience to take away from my performance is what I'm trying to be and how I'm trying to be perceived. Because when you watch me, I don't want you to see anything other than a beautiful woman on that stage because that's my character. That's what I'm emulating. I don't want you necessarily to see a guy that's in a heel. Now, I think when you see a guy walk across the stage for the first time, that's what you notice. But at some point you lose yourself in that performance and you say, hey, wow, that's just something beautiful. It's a beautiful art. That's a woman. That's the way women move. Now, this is a character for everyone, right? You know, I'm a man. I, you know, it's a character for me. A lot of times when I have women come into my class as well who are shy and reserved, I always tell them to step outside yourself and become a character, be something different because this may not be you. It's not who I am on a daily basis, but I love to get into that character. So again, going back to moving differently and being um, a very special style to me um, is because I get to tackle and I get to challenge uh, being something other than what I am. And that's what being an actor is, right? It's channeling something different, you know, moving outside of, 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 of who you really are. It's such a huge compliment when I get the feedback from a male who's watched my performance, who's straight, and they tell me, wow, I, I, you were so amazing to watch. I saw a woman out there on that stage. And it makes me feel like I've accomplished what I wanted to as a performer, as an actor. So what is burlesque? I can't answer that question without being technical. It's something different for me and it may be something different for you. Um, I don't feel that there's a wrong answer, but I do think, like I said before, there are parameters, but I, think, I don't think there's a wrong answer when it comes to what is burlesque because it's something so different these days and we have all of our different styles and what I would like to see is a big energy, a big surge of energy coming back into the style of burlesque because when the movie Burlesque came out, there was so much hoopla and I'm so glad that I was teaching during that time because everyone wanted to come into class. Everyone wanted to be a part of this wonderful style of burlesque and it lasted for a while and then it started to kind of peter off a little bit. But this is a style that never gets old because they're so, it's under the umbrella of so many different things. It never gets old. So I really want to see this style catch its surge again and really become even more mainstream. When you watch a performance, um, how does it make you feel? Um, if you are a burlesque dancer, what's your intention? What do you try to accomplish when you're performing? Um, what do you feel? And these are questions I want to ask you because again, all of this is just in my opinion. But, you know, what is the difference for you between a hip hop heels class and a heels class? You know, what does the art of burlesque mean to you? Because this is such a sharing channel and I love learning. Uh, share with me some things that you may know about the art of burlesque. Again, I didn't go into a lot of technical detail with this video because I wanted to keep it very light. I just wanted to point out certain people that were important to me in the style um, and kind of express where I come from within the art and what my style is. Yeah, so share with me any of your stories if you know any cool trivia about burlesque that you would like to share with Delandis. Uh, yeah, let me know. If you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to this channel and pressing the bell notification so that you may get any notifications for videos that I may upload. Also, find me on Instagram at Delandis and Twitter at Delandis World. See you guys next time. As always, I love you guys.